Well, beloved dumb dumb motherfuckers, what is going on, everyone? It is I, everybody's favorite jack of all trades, with the fire on miles. I'm Durbin. Welcome back to another awesome fucking video, guys. I greatly fucking appreciate it. I really, really seriously do. And uh, it's gonna be an, it's gonna be an awesome fucking video. I hope you guys enjoy it. And if you guys are not subscribed to the channel yet. Fucking hit that subscribe button. Hit that damn notification bell. Never miss a video from yours truly ever again. Let's get to a thousand fucking subs before the end of the year. It would be awesome as hell. So yeah. So anyway, this is going to be part 47 of our build of the 1350 scale model of the DKM Bismarck by Ravel with upgrade set by Pontos models and paint by scale colors and in today's video is going to be a good one because we have given the Bismarck her teeth and what I mean by giving the Bismarck her fucking teeth I mean we have armed her up to the nines with all of her fucking guns and weaponry. So we're gonna go through, talk about all the guns, all the guns, which ones I put on, pain first, put on, and fucking order and shit and tell you where they go and all that whatnot. And for reference, we are gonna be using the book, The Anatomy of the Ship, Battleship Bismarck. And if you guys are building a model of the Bismarck, it doesn't matter if it's a this scale or one 400 scale or the one 200 scale bitch by Trumpeter, get this fucking book. It is a gold mine of information. Amazing information regarding the ship. Now we need to go to the section on armament right here because we literally got an arsenal of armament on this bitch. So, what I fucking further do. Anyway, the first guns, as you can see here, that I did work on and do, were the, um, the two centimeter C30 guns and the SLC30 single mount. There were 10 of these motherfuckers on the ship and they were painted two different colors, black, for the main gun portion and the base and in gray for the fucking pedestal and the, yeah for the thing that holds the fucking gun the mount there are two of them here as you can see there's one right there there's one on the other side too there's one right there of course there's one on the other side and then there's one right there also on the other side as well there's one right there, which you can see it over there. And then finally there's one right there, and you can see the other one across the way right there. After I got them all painted up, I fucking installed them, got them on there and shit, and those were done. And then, by the way, if you wonder why I'm not explaining why these fucking guns were put together, I've already done videos on all these guns, how I put them together and shit, and got them done. So that's why. Kind of want to fucking learn that shit and go back and find the video on that shit. Anyway, the second thing of guns I done were the two centimeter C-38 guns in the Verling LC-38 quadruple mount. Now these guns are exactly the same fucking guns as this. It's literally, literally, someone, someone had the brilliant idea of taking four of these and mashing these motherfuckers into one, into one fucking gun. Okay, and it's literally three different colors. The light gray for this pedestal thing, as you can see. The black for the barrels and the base. And tan color for this wood deck. Okay. Now, once I got them painted, I installed them up here on the compass platform, or the searchlight deck, one there. And one right over there. See, right there. So, 
you can see the detail on them. They are there and they are ready to basically go to war with anyone that wants to go and fuck with them and shit. Now the next set of guns, these are 3.7 centimeters. Slightly bigger than the two centimeter, you know, machine guns. These are your light AA guns. These are the SKC-30s and the DOP LC-30 twin mounts. There are eight of these guns on the ship. And there's like three or four different colors. Of course, you're black. For the barrels, the uh, gyro, gyroscope gear covers the base. And of course, gray for the main body and all this. And of course, tan for the seats. Now, where these are located at, all right, there's two of them here. You see one there. There's one right there. There are two right there. Okay. And there are two right here, one on the other side. And finally, there's one there, and one right over there. And that's how they were mounted. As you can see, there's a lot of detail. Yeah. If I get zoom in. There we go. See? A lot of detail and shit on those tiny ass guns. Now the next guns I did, there's two different sets of them. There's the um, the 10.5 centimeter SKC 33 NAs and the LC 37 twin mount. This is the newer gun. And there literally were like two or three different colors. Literally dark gray, uh, superstructure gray. And of course the back here was like a goldish bronze color because that was the breech. All right, and we also dealt with the 10.5 SKC-33 and the DOP LC-31 twin mount. This is the older variation of the gun, which basically these fuckers are painted pretty similar to the other ones. Dark gray top, you know, light gray barrels and stuff, and the trolley with some little black highlight detail. And of course the breeches were also fucking brass gold color as well. And the older mount guns were are installed here and here, two per side, and there's one on the other side. Okay, basically you can see right fucking there. And the newer guns, fucking right there, and fucking right there, basically. We can go ahead and flip around, see? There's the older mounts fucking here and here, and the newer mounts are fucking here and here as well. So, with those bitches and done out of the way, now it was basically time for the um, uh, the 15 centimeter SKC 28 and the LC 34 twin turret. There were four of these. Okay, there were four of these, and then there was the um, the same thing with the 6.5 meter range finder. There were two of these, but they were in the center of the ship. What I mean is. There were two up forward here, and of course they had the same camouflage as the rest of that because they, like so. So the forward half of them was painted white, this was painted gray, and of course the top of these turrets were painted yellow. Of course they had blast bags and the barrels were dark gray. Same thing with these, they were just dark gray or superstructure gray with the yellow tops with blast bags with dark barrels. And the same goes for these as well. And they're just basically superstructure gray with the yellow tops and dark barrels and shit. And you can see the only ones that are different are the two here with the range finders and these ones up here because they have the fucking Baltic camouflage on the sides that kind of line up with the rest of the ship. And then finally, we get to the big 
we get to the big boys, the big, the big heavy hitters. The 38 centimeter SKC 34 guns and the DRH LC 34 twin turrets. The big ones, the 15 inch motherfuckers. They had a camo scheme on their own. And I painted them with the lower side superstructure gray. The upper half portion of them was a dark gray. And finally the tops were yellow. The barrels on Anton and door were completely dark gray. All the ones on Bruno and Caesar were halfway gray, fucking halfway yellow to match up with that. And once I got them all painted and got that done, those are just literally just slide in there. You literally put them on, like you twist them on, you just twist them and that's it, they're not glued. So those guns are on. And then those are on. So yeah, I'll do an aerial of the ship. See? Pretty fucking crazy guys, right? Yeah. Pretty fucking amazing. Pan out. We'll look at the ship on the side. See? Now Bismarck finally has her fucking teeth and shit. And then she can uh Definitely could go to war, but she's not completely done yet. So, there you have it. That's what I've been doing there. Getting that fucking shit done. So, there you go. I hope you guys fucking enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments about anything, leave them in the fucking comment section below and I'll get back with you. If you're new to the channel, like the shit I fucking do, hit that fucking subscribe button, hit that damn notification bell. Never miss a video from fucking yours truly ever again. And until next time, this is Commodore Urban saying a smooth seas and clear skies. Happy sailing with all of you. God bless you all. Take care. Stay safe. Be yourselves. God bless you all. Jesus and God love you all very much. And soon I'll catch you on a warm trade. Fucking dog, shut up. Fuck it. Fuck you. Catch you on a warm trade. What the hell anyone knows? And let's go, Brandon. Fuck Joe Biden. And Trump 2024, baby. Yeah.